Well, hello everyone, and welcome to this fairly brief video about the Total War Warhammer Chaos Warriors announcement. So today, Creative Assembly announced that Chaos Warriors will be free if you purchase Total War Warhammer within the first week. Now in the background, you're seeing gameplay from the video they released in coordination with that announcement. It was a video that Darren uh, was showing pretty much just Joey about the about the battle and featured very heavily Kolek Sun Eater, one of the legendary lords available for the Chaos Warriors pack. The battle looks absolutely amazing, so if you want to see the whole video, I'll leave a link in the description if I remember. If not, just you know, go onto the Total War page. I imagine most of you probably would have seen it already, uh, whereas I couldn't watch it before I had to go to work this morning, so I've just watched it now and my golly gosh, it looked very impressive. So, the reason I'm doing this little snippet of news is that I think it's a. I want to kind of highlight it because it's a good direction I think Creative Assembly is going in. The fact that although they were saying uh, they're going to be releasing it to YouTubers and reviewers, and reviewers will be up, the reviews will be up before release, it's still not really the same as seeing what the public thinks uh, during the first few days of release. So I reckon that shows that CA definitely have confidence in their product, in the fact that they're giving you this uh, bit of DLC for free if you purchase the game for the first week. So I don't think they do that if they weren't confident it's going to be a product that's playable on launch. Everything we've seen, all these custom battles, they're not scripted in any way that we've seen from Creative Assembly. So although I imagine it's going to be played on a pretty beefy PC, I reckon it's going to be released in a, you know, at least a pretty stable state if they're offering this bit of content for free for the first week. I think that shows a lot of confidence in what they're doing. I also think it's good news for the consumer as I know that pre-order bonuses aren't popular amongst any gaming community. So, I mean, it gives early adopters a chance to be, I guess, rewarded for purchasing the game early. And I imagine if you still don't want to buy it in the first week, a lot of people might still wait for a Steam a stream sale so yeah i'm pretty confident it is going to be a very 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 good total war game i can't wait to be able to get my hands on it a little bit more i'm getting extremely excited for the release so if i see something critical i'm still going to be critical of it like if i see something that doesn't that i don't agree with but i think this is a very good decision by creative assembly what do you guys think in the comments below of course do let me know. Let me know what you think of the battle as well, because that looked freaking sweet. I love the units. I love the size of Kolek Sun Eater. Him seeing him go charging in against the dwarves, it was just yeah. It really. I think this is. Oh, I'm excited. It's really setting the stage to be a fantastic total war game. Going away from. Uh, historical titles, I don't think it's a bad thing. They're still going to be releasing historical titles. So, yeah, I'm really excited. What do you guys think in the comments below? Let me know. That's it for now. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.